All right, everyone, welcome back yet again to Madness Returns. Last time we left off, we had found the first Radula room and a uh, mushroom. But we're actually going to go into the Radula room because I looked up what exactly the Radula rooms are, and I was actually wrong in the last episode. They're not entirely uh, quizzes. Um, some of them are battle ones where basically you have to kill a certain number of enemies in order to win. Uh, some of them are survival, which is you don't have to kill enemies, you just have to survive for, you know, like two or three minutes. Um, you can throw down clockwork bombs as distractions. Um, and then apparently there's a fourth kind, which is special Radula rooms, and those are unique mini games that aren't related to the other three categories. So, Let's go ahead and go in this first one, which I know is a quiz one. Also, we're back at, I'm guessing, the Vale ah, of Tears. There you are, Alice. How is the Queen of Hearts like a typhoon? And the answers are both are powerful. In all ways, but the typhoon doesn't mean to be. Both are in indiscriminately destructive, and both are cruel. And the correct answer is in all ways, but the typhoon doesn't mean to be, because typhoons aren't sentient. The queen is. Righto. And answering a question or er, question. Answering the question correctly bleh, gets us some rose paint, which is used to increase our maximum health. And once we've collected the rose paint, it kicks us out. Yay! Anyways, let's continue our little journey here. And is there anything over here? Ah, there's a snout. And a mushroom, which leads to some golden teeth and a keyhole. says to Dr. Bumpy, I says, model making's all fine and good, but a waste of a perfectly good bottle. I could fill it with gin for thruppence. Yes, you could fill a bottle with gin. But that if you're filling just random bottles with gin instead of just buying gin, you're either a penny pincher an alcoholic, or both. I mean, I can understand the wanting to save money thing, because instead of, like, just outright buying stuff like Powerade, I try to find the actual powder mixes, because it's cheaper that way. Which totally makes sense. And if you want to do that, go for it. But, just saying. It's not like I... Well... I was gonna say, it's not like I go out and make my own energy drinks, but... I used to for a while, so I guess I'll shut my face. And no, it wasn't like I actually made my own recipe. It was that, uh... If you've ever heard of it, uh, Soda Stream? Also, that was a fish. That was a big fish. But yeah, the uh, soda stream maker. Basically, you pour a syrup into 
a bottle of carbonated water. And you get soda at home. And it's cheaper than buying actual, uh, like, bottles and two liters of soda. But I stopped using it after a while, so. Anyways, random tangent. And snout's in here, isn't it? Oh, look what it is. It's, it's the. F oh, jeez, you're creepy. There you are. What did that do? I don't know what that did. Oh! Hi, basket that was right behind me that I didn't see somehow. Also, I wonder... Uh-huh. I have gone some kind of roundabout way. Now I'm not exactly sure where I am, to be honest. Also, that's not creepy at all. Can't tell if that's eyes or if that's goodies. And let's see. Also, don't you try to eat me fish. I see you over there trying to eat me fish. That's what I'm going to call you. The trying to eat me fish. I don't care what your actual name is. Uh, let's see. Well, I can't get up there, so... Oh, jeez, hi. I can get up here, however. And this leads me to another bridge. Also, one thing I never noticed before is that some of these bridges are actually visible even without shrink sense. You get like these weird uh, floaty pedal things. Ah, I knew it was goodies. I thought it was evil, but it was goodies. Oh, and just because I forgot to mention it. If you fall in the water, that fish will eat you if he's nearby. I don't know if it's insta-death or, or uh, if you just go back to like the last area. I think if you fall in the water, it just teleports you back to the last platform you, are, you were on, because Alice can't swim normally. Also, can I shoot the fish? I've never tried shooting the fish. I cannot. Also, look who it is! It's the Mock Turtle. And he's in his boat. Oh, goodness. You better come aboard, Alice. We're doomed, of course. What? There's no hope there. Oh, there's an infinite amount of hope. But no force. Now get up here. Confounded beasts. They want my ship. I think you're more to their taste. Never. We're almost relatives. You're related to Sue, Admiral. <gasps> I've an idea. We'll leave this mayhem and go to Carpenter's show. It's better than gaff. Carpenter promises we don't take seriously, can't harm us. Best dive now, Admiral, or the sharks will have us for lunch.
And yep, for some reason, the Mock Turtle ship isn't just a ship. And down a waterfall we go. Whee. Yeah, the Mock Turtle ship is also a submarine for some reason. Anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. We'll pick up from here the next time. See you then.